Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your P1000 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Support Representative. This module covers the basic setup and navigation. Before operating or maintaining P1000, read the safety instructions and user manual carefully, paying extra attention to the safety warnings and precautions. Download the user manual from this website. To install the battery pack, loosen the battery cover screw, then lift the bottom edge of the cover to remove it. Position the battery with the arrows and this side up decal toward the top of the tool. To install, slightly tilt the top of the battery down and into position aligning the tabs, and then tilt back down into position. Put the notched end of the battery in first and push down until the battery is in place. Replace the battery cover and snug up the screw to hold the cover in place. Do not over tighten. Indicators and connectors are on the top panel. The LED indicator illuminates when the tool is connected to a power source and lets you know if the battery is charging, red, or is fully charged, green. The power supply jack is used to connect the AC power supply. Only use the AC power supply provided with the P1000. The USB jack is used to connect the P1000 to a personal computer for transferring save files and using ShopStream Connect. More about that in the next training module. The micro SD card slot holds the micro SD card and contains the P1000 software. And the data cable connector is used to attach the vehicle communication data cable. To power up the P1000, press the power button. P1000 will boot up to the home screen in about five seconds. P1000 automatically powers up and opens to the home screen whenever it is connected to an OBD2 vehicle or to the AC power supply. All operations can be performed using the touch screen or the keys. The four-way keypad controls up, down, and left-right navigation. Pressing the Yes button selects a menu or program or confirms a selection. Pressing the No button exits a menu or returns to the previous screen. The shortcut S button can be programmed to perform a variety of common tasks. To assign a function to the shortcut key, select the Tools icon from the home screen. Select Configure Shortcut Key and choose a shortcut function to assign. Choices for the shortcut key function include Screen Brightness, Save Screen, Save Movie, Show Shortcut Menu, and Toggle Record and Pause. Select the No button to return to the Tools menu. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.